In this video, we are going to continue with graphs of sine, cosine and tangent functions. You will find this on page 157 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Now we are going to look at the graphs of y equals a sin bx plus c, y equals a cos bx plus c, and y equals a tan bx plus c. Again, we will use the graphing software, the geometry sketchpad, to explore the functions of these three graphs. We will observe how the values of a, b, and c affects the graphs. It will be very good if you scan this QR on your cell phone or on your computer and then you look at this investigation. It will just help you to, to explore basically that value of A, B and C and the effect that it have on the different graphs. Okay, but for me, I'm just moving on. Okay, at the end, we can summarize this by the following table. And when I go, come to the next page, I will reflect back to this table. So this table is really going to help you. But let's, let's look at it. So if this is the function, the, the A is in front, B, um, I, I think I'd just like to show you first this. So A is in front, B is in front of the X and C is on its own. So this in front of the function affects the amplitude. So the amplitude. This affects the period. It means how many times it repeats itself in 360. And this affects the vertical translation. So there the graph, the whole graph is moving up or it's moving down. Okay. So if you look at this table, and I will now, as soon as I, um, every time I think I'm rather going to reflect back in an example and the table will then make more sense to you. Okay. So let's start with the example. Find the minimum value, the maximum value, and amplitude, period, and the y-intercept of each of the following graphs. Give the answer of the period in degrees and in radians. So remember, 360 is 2 pi radians. Okay, this is the first graph. So if I'm, okay, now let's just see um, the three things. So it's going to be the amplitude, the period, the y-intercept, and each of the following graphs. Okay, so if this is the graph, then this, okay, so take first, the value of A is 4, the value of B is a third, the value of C, grab that negative sign, is negative 2. Okay, so basically, I'm going to now say, the minimum value, and I want to, okay, this is now sign, so the minimum value is A plus C, Ah, the maximum value and the minimum value it's negative a plus c so remember maximum positive minimum negative okay so the maximum value is a plus c so i'm just going to say that a plus that c and that's just going to be two so that will be the max it's going to help you when you sketch the graphs which we will get come to in the in the next few videos okay so so the <clears throat> so y is equal to two. That's the maximum, and the minimum. It's negative a, so it's negative four, negative two, and that's negative six, and that's the minimum. I think it's better if I I make it blue. The amplitude is a. So uh, so it's just the value of a. And what is the value of a? And if you look back. You see that the amplitude was just A. So the amplitude is 4. So the period, okay, is because the value of A is just 4. The period is 360 divided third, which is actually multiplied 3. Can I just go back again? Do you see the period? It's um, it's now this one, it's sine because there's a fraction. So it's basically just times the value of B. 
So if you look at this, it's just times the value. So this is the period. So in, in this case, it's going to stretch itself out. Okay. Or 3 times 2 pi, which is 6 pi. And the y-intercept, and I go back again. Can you see the y-intercept is just the value of c? And what is the value of c? The value of c is negative 2. Okay, when we go, um, we're going to sketch it later on, but for now it's very good if you can just get all this information by just looking at the function, not sketching anything. Okay, um, I will show you symbol lab, also graphing and sketching as soon as I come to it, but for now I think it's good if you just do it algebraically. Okay, now we start to the next one. If y equals a cos bx plus c, okay, now it's cos, okay, so what is the value of a, let's take it out again, negative 5, what is the value of b, 4, what is the value of c, 6. So what is the maximum value? The maximum, and I just want to show you, it's exactly the same as I did here. So the maximum is just a plus c, I'm now with cos, I'm now with this too. And the minimum is negative a plus c. The amplitude is still a, and it is still the same. If if I if there's a value, uh, it's not a fraction, I just divide, and if there's a fraction, I multiply. But basically, and the uh, the only thing now, the y-intercept is a plus c, and not just c. Okay, let's go back. Okay. So the maximum value is a plus c, so it's that negative 5 plus 6, it's 1. And the minimum value is negative a, negative, so put the negative in plus c, and it's 11. Okay. And, wow, this is interesting. This is the... So the minimum value is 11. So the reason why, the reason why is due to that negative, the graph is flipping over. I think what I want to do, I'll see if I can quickly do it, bring in the symbol lab so that you can just see that this makes sense. Okay, I'll do it now, after this one, especially because this is a negative. Okay, so the maximum, although it's the minimum, but it's now going to be the maximum due to the flipping. The amplitude is just A, so it's just 5. The period, because it's 4, I divide by 4, and it's 90 degrees, or I can just go and say 2 pi divide 4, and it's a half a pi. Okay, and the Y, can you remember it was A plus C? So it was negative 5 plus 6, so the y-intercept will just be 1. I'm going to stop you now here, and I'm quickly going to bring in for you the symbol lab that I just sketched this, that you see that this makes sense. I think you're going to remember it then better. Okay, I went to the internet, and I was typing in symbol lab. Okay, then I went to graphing. Okay, after I'm in this website, I went to graphing and I was typing in this function just exactly as it stood there. y equals negative 5 cos 4x plus 6. Beautiful. There you see the graph. Now, let's just see if this makes sense, what we worked out now. So, we basically said, and if we can move it, I just want to see if I can move it a little bit. We said that the maximum, although because, okay, I want to first show you this. Um, a cost graph is usually, it would have started here. I'm oh, sorry, I'm not good at that. But, but it would have started at the top and it would have went up. But due to the fact that, and if you look here, let me just show you here that it's a negative, it's flipped or uh, reflected in the what, in the x-axis, okay, and that is the reason why it's looking different. So now, due to that fact, although you worked it out, a plus c, you got 1, but 1, and can you see there is 1, 1 was your minimum point, 
And after you said negative A plus C, you got 11, and that was your, do you see there's 11? That was your maximum point. Okay, very interesting. Did you see what was the amplitude? Now, you can even think of it like this, 11 minus 1, which is 10, divided by 2, and that's 5. Can you see that it's 5? Now, what is the period? Now, the period is going to say, when is the graph repeating itself? And I, if I'm going to use a highlighter, um, let's see. It's going to be like this, like this, and then it will start repeating itself. Okay, okay. don't forget that this is a half pi. This axis is in radians. So if you're going to press on your calculator a half times pi, you are going to get 1,57 because that is a half pi. And if you look there, that's going to be 1,6, approximately 1,57. Okay, and that is going to be the period. And then the y-intercept, let's look where it cuts the y. Um, it's cutting at 1. Excellent. So this is exactly what I was determining without seeing the growth. So you can always just control yourself by quickly and it's also good especially if you go into sketching that you can visualize it a little bit. Okay, but for now we're going to move on to the next example. Just want to see if I can get this off. Okay, let's just clean it. So, the next one, if A equals A tan B X plus C, then I have this example. So, don't forget A is equal, is going to be equal to 3, B is equal to 2, and C is equal to 1. So, the maximum value does not exist because, you remember the tan, it's just the same with the minimum value. The amplitude, and I want to take you back, um, what is the amplitude? It's undefined. Because, because there's not a maximum and a minimum value, okay? So amplitude is a distance, so it's always a positive number. Uh, change it, it to positive if you get a negative, if the graph is a reflection in the x-axis. That is what, what I show you in the previous example, okay? It was in this one. So in this case, um, okay, so the period, what is the period? I just take this and I divide by 2 and it's also going to be a half pi or 90 degrees. And the y-intercept, it's going to cut, so just go back. The y-intercept is 0 plus c. And what is the value of c? It's 1, so it's 0 plus 1. So the y-intercept is just going to be 1. Okay, I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do, and I think I'm going to give you only two. Okay, I want you to do number A. No, let's make it number B and number C. And again, you can continue the video, video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Let's start with number B. Find the minimum, maximum, amplitude, period, y-intercept of each of the following graphs. So let's start with number B. What is the function? Y equals 3 minus 8 sin 2x. Okay, let's start. The first one is the maximum value. So the maximum value will always be A plus C. Oh, I forgot. So what is the value of A? Now don't forget, it's the value in front here. So it's actually negative 8. What is the value of B? It's 2. And the value of C is the one standing on its own. And that's 3. So if I'm going to say A plus C, I'm going to have... Okay, what is the value of A? So it's negative 8 plus C, it's 3, and that's negative with a 5. Okay, I'll, I'll come now. I'll just leave it first. We will now see if it's a maximum or a minimum. What is the minimum value? 
the minimum value is negative a plus c. So it's going to be negative, and what is the value of a? It's going to be negative 8 plus c, 3, and that is going to be 11. So if I'm looking at it, I'm going to see, therefore, it's due to the reflection. This is actually the minimum, and this is actually the maximum. Okay, value. So y equals minimum value, it's um, y equals negative 5, maximum value y is equal to 11. And then I'm coming to the amplitude. Uh, what is the amplitude? If I'm looking at the amplitude, now it cannot be negative, it's just, otherwise you're just going to say, 11 minus minus 5, it's 16 divided by 2, it's 8. So don't take it as 8, take it because it's um, a distance is a um, positive value. So it will just be 8. Okay. And what is the period? It's because it's, uh, it's sent, so it's 360 uh, divided by 2. So, and that will just be 180 or... 2 pi divided by 2, and that's just pi. Okay, and then the last one is the y-intercept. And what is the y-intercept? The y-intercept will just be always the value of c, and what is the value of c? It's 3. Okay, and if you draw it then, then it's easy, but we'll come to that in, in the later videos. Okay, let's make space and let's do number C. So C is Y is equal to negative 2 tan X over 2 minus 3. Okay, so if you start with this one, now, don't forget, let's first write down the values. The value of A, what is the value of A? It's negative 2. The value of B is a half. And the value of C is negative 3. Now, if we start, what is the maximum value? It does not exist. What is the minimum value? It does not. Remember tan? Can you remember? It's like this and it's just driving up or down. So it does not exist. What is, what is the amplitude? If, if it's not the maximum or the minimum, it's undefined. It's Undefined. What is the period? Now, this is interesting. Remember, it's a tan, so it's always 180. Only sin and cos is 360. Now, if it, it's divided by a half, but actually, so it's actually divided by a half, but it's actually 180 times 2, which is 360 degrees or 2 pi. Okay. And then what is the y-intercept? It's 0 plus c. Don't forget. Let's just go back. You can always check on this table. 0 plus c. We'll memorize that table. And what will it be? It will be 0 plus negative 3. It's negative 3. And that's the final answer.